Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 13, and this episode I'm particularly excited to introduce because this is the unveiling of the Future Fab Open Racer Radio Control Car Competition. This is a project that I've been working on since about 2009, and the idea is that it's going to help young people and hobbyists get into engineering, computer aided design, computer aided manufacturing, and also some of the more traditional hand fitting and machining skills. So the competition is based around this, which is a 1 12th scale radio controlled car. And everything, with the exception of the, of the electronics, uh, is designed and manufactured by the competition entrant. Now, it's called Open Racer because it's meant to encourage open source software and hardware in schools, moving away from these devices, MakerBots, which are actually in loads of colleges and schools across the UK and the world, to make use of some of the exciting and frankly equivalent open source offerings such as the RepRap project. So in this episode we're going to have a look at exactly what goes into the car and also some of the, um, the elements of the competition. So we'll start by introducing the website then we'll take a look at the car. To get involved with the OpenRCR project it's as simple as visiting futurefab.org.uk and the website might not always look like this but there's always going to be the same three areas. The first is the sign up area in the title bar. And by visiting this area, you'll be able to input your information and get the latest tips, tricks, and downloads. Next, the downloads and FAQ section will be where you download the actual plans and STL files for the car. We host our designs via GitHub so that you'll be able to actually contribute your own designs via the open source methodology. The final part of the site is to think about the competition categories. We have two very basic competition categories, which is the Open RCR Stock Class and Modified Class, which are open to different age ranges and ability levels. We'll also, from time to time and year to year, have different prize categories. And in the first year, we're going to be looking at the Sustainability Award and the Open RCR Design Innovation and Open Source Technologies Award. So now we've had a look at the basic areas of competition, let's have a look at the car. So this is by no means an exhaustive look at the car, we're going to do that in much greater depth in future weeks. But let's have a look at the actual construction. The base is a piece of laser cut, laser ply. Now the modified class would expect most people to be using either a fiberglass, uh, perhaps some kind of thin polymer or maybe even carbon fibre for the top end. So in terms of 3D printed components, we have the two steering hubs here. The wishbones and even wheels are 3D printed and we're printing these with about a 0.1 um, millimeter layer height for strength and also to give them a really high quality finish. In addition we've got the wishbones and at the back the motor mounts and integrated gears and that connects the back wheels which is on a single non-differential axle to the electric motor. We've opted in this uh, series to go for a 540 brushed motor deliberately to keep the cost down and also to keep it nice and simple. Some of the new brushless motors are really high torque, really high RPM and not only is it expensive, arguably dangerous to some extent, uh, but also the, the really high RPMs are going to tend to shred some of the 3D printed uh, gearing. Uh, we use lithium polymer batteries just for the size and incredible capacity uh, that they can kick out. We've got a 540 uh, motor controller and a 2.4 gigahertz receiver. We use a simple uh, radio controlled servo uh, with a servo saver connected by a couple of simple tie rods. And the cost of all of the electronics is, believe it or not, round about £15. So it's incredibly cheap. So that's a brief look at the car. In the future videos, we will go through the specifics of each individual component, the design and optimization of every single area of this car. But for now, that should be enough just to whet your appetite. So now you've seen the website and you've seen the design of the car, you're probably thinking, how can I get involved? Well, your first step is to go to futurefab.org.uk. There'll be a link in the description and sign up to our email mailing list. Once you've done that, you're going to get first access to all of the plans, STL files, everything you need to build the car. You'll also get further links to our videos, tips and tutorial guides. And if this is the first time you've stumbled across this channel, then subscribe to this channel 
because we've got a whole host of helpful videos on both the Open Racer project and our Five Minute Fi Friday series, which is all about machining and different techniques uh, for the engineer. So if you like these videos, please like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time.